This is Siri Oxide Official. Welcome to the new Siri port for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the Apple Touch 4th gen and the Apple Touch 3rd gen. This is a new program. It's called Siri Oxide version 1.1. This site is version 1.1 as well. Okay. All you need to know is where to download it, which is here, serioxide.tk and how to transfer it on to your i device. This took me roughly about four to five hours to make. Second of all, what you need to do, what you need to know is when you go to iBlog, yeah, there will be some like if you need any help or anything, like if you it gives you some problems, server down, does not work properly, yeah, then you can just comment on it and I will fix it within the next two days, when, as soon as I can. Just be with, just letting you know, this is a free software, it's completely free, we never charge for our servers, there's no servers or bullshit like that, just download, that is it, just Siri, okay, I've got some custom nomination, yeah, and blah blah blah, it's took me a long time to make as well. Anyway, um, plus this is my photos, they're not from Google or anything, they're originally from this website and I've actually created them, okay, so which took me a really long time, okay, second thing you need to do is download Dropbox, okay, watch the watch tutorial, tutorial on um, this website, yeah, and um, yeah, and download Dropbox. And then download it for mobile as well, which is for your iDevice, your iPhone 4, your Apple Touch, whatever, blah, 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 whatever you want it on. Okay, once you've done that, yeah, is uh, make sure you download it from the App Store. Make sure you download it from the App Store. Um, the, it's the um, Dropbox, make sure you download it. And, like, you know, um, then you can transfer your stuff. Okay, second of all, make sure you download it on the computer. Once you've done it on the computer, then um just transfer it on on that so today i'm going to show you how to do it yeah okay this first thing i'm going to do is open um serial oxide so it's got some little bullshit in there anyway you don't want to get um you get you get instruction in serial oxide the most important thing is do not extract I'm warning you, if you extract the certificate, will not work. The guarantee will not work. Okay? The second thing is you need to open instructions. Yeah? Make sure this is a warning. Do not re upload this to another site, or else I will shut down the server. And make sure you do as it says. Otherwise, I will shut down it down. I'll shut it down. Okay? Email the CEO um, so for all certificate as attachment to yourself. There is a change for that. That. You, that's that's why you need Dropbox for that, okay? And then install it on your iPhone. Okay, that's the second bit that we're gonna do. Yeah. So what we're gonna do first is go to see your, go to this um the WinRAR. I recommend you have the R the extension because it's easier. Yeah. Okay. Basically, what you do is um WinRAR is the best one. Basically, basically what you do is go to your documents. Yeah. As soon as you see you see this dot box, make sure you make sure you um you accept the you accept, accept the box that you can transfer it from documents. Yeah, which is then you click on drop box, yeah, and then you transfer this to there. I'm not gonna do it because I've done it already and I just don't want it to muff up because I'm I'm actual server because see so that's my server name anyway, which you don't need you can't you, you don't need to know right now. That's for me to know and not you to find out if you want to hack it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing this or re-uploading to another site. Or oh, I will shut it down. No one will get Siri because this is the only working Siri, right? I've only made it yesterday and it's working, fully working on my iPad, on my iPhone 4. Yeah, and uh, make sure you do, make sure you tell everyone about this, everyone you know, yeah, so I can keep Siri running on the iPhone 4 or any any other i device. Okay, enough talking. What you need to do is um, go to your documents, which is Dropbox, the Dropbox thing. Um, drag it on there. Once you've done that, come out of there. Open your Apple Touch. Yeah, you see a, you see once you when you see your Dropbox icon on your 
home screen, you click on it. Once you click on it, yeah, you click on um, it's like some paper clip icon. Um, it's like some kind of like paper clip icon. Basically, what you need to do is um, let me check on my on the iPhone four. Hold on a minute. Yeah, basically it will take some time to load up Dropbox as your first start because it's configuring all your files and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. On like on the left hand side, like it should be like it should say like Dropbox favorites uploads and settings. Yeah, once you drag it onto your 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 iDevice, yeah, um, it, you see it. It's it says Siri Oxide dot certificate CRT. Yeah, the CRT means um, like certificate, it's extension of a certificate. Once you open it, you click open, yeah, and just wait for it to load fully. It says unable to view. Okay, when it says unable to view, that's that is what that that's that's what it should show anyway. It's normal. Don't worry. On the left hand side, left bottom left hand side, you see a, like attaching file. Yeah, and what you're gonna do is says how would you like to share this file, and then you click on email link okay okay it says, it's gonna say it's gonna say generating link once it's once you've done generating link yeah um it shows like here's a link for Cyrox it is my dropbox okay sent from my iPhone blah 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 okay on the two bit you write your email once you send it to your e and then you press send cancel and uh, no send it to yourself yeah and that's it okay and then go to the home screen and type mail yeah and then you see, you see um, that um, you've got a mail, a new mail from Serial, it's a certificate, you've got a certificate. Okay, once you've done that certificate, yeah, you open it on your device. Okay, now uh, this is a tricky little bit, tricky bit. You open it and then you install it. Make sure you press install, install and then install, okay. Once you've done that, you need to install Spire from Cydia, okay. Warning you, this is a really, really big, big, big upload. I did not make Spire. Spire is from some from the Big Boss um, repo source, right? So you need to download, you can search it. You've already got it, so you don't need to. You need to, you don't need to add a source or anything. Yeah, just download Spire. It's, I recommend you use um, fast Wi-Fi, like Veggie Media, whatever. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, or you can use your actual iPhone Fiji, but it'll take actually longer. It'll take about an hour. Yeah, but if you do use Wi-Fi, it will be like about 10 minutes, yeah? Okay, now, once you go to um, Spire, once you have Spire, yeah, um, go to Settings, yeah, on your Settings, under Settings app, yeah, um, you see, hold on, you see Settings, and then once you see, um, go at the right at the bottom, you see, you see a thing called Spire, click on Spire, yeah, and it says a thing called Proxy Host, okay. Now you type this in the proxy host, right? Type this in the proxy host, and that's it. You're all done. Press return, and that's fine. Okay. The next thing you need to do is go to general, and then go to Siri, and then you, you enable Siri on. Okay, and and then exit out of it and change your. You can change your like your language or anything. It's got like four or five languages so far. Because I'm gonna make languages for everyone, but I know it will be hard, but as long as people subscribe to my channel, more people go visit my site, that's it. I'm not worried about anything else. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is turn off your device. Yeah, wait two minutes, turn it on again. Yeah, and about run about roughly about two to three hours, your, your Siri should be start working. Once two to three hours are gone, make sure you do time it. Okay, because this has to be around around two to three hours. Around like say two hours, forty minutes, two hours, twenty minutes, and stuff like that has to be around two to three hours anywhere, but not two or less. It has to be less than three, but not more, not less than three, not equal to two. Yeah. So once you've done that, um, turn it off, return, um, turn it off again. Yeah. Once two hours, two to three hours is gone. Yeah. Turn it off again. Turn it off two times. Make sure you turn it on and then turn it off again. Okay. Once you've done that, sorry about this. Um, thing shit, Windows shit. Yeah. Once you've done that, um, your Siri should be running. Then I'll make a I'll make another video to prove that Siri is working on the iPhone four. 
yeah and um 